And now, as we continue with Neville Goddard's radio talk show series, I will be commenting on his July 1951 talk, Feeling is the Secret, on station KECA Los Angeles. And while I do so, let us enjoy a lovely meal at Denny's Japan. Denny's is also a popular family restaurant in Japan, and it is amazing. And now, a word from this video sponsor, ExpressVPN. A VPN is like wearing a rain jacket when it's raining cats and dogs outside. When you're online, you really want to be protecting your privacy. Different companies, as well as hackers, can be collecting your information, but a VPN will help hide that and protect your private info. And VPNs have another place in my heart. For being in Japan, they allow me to be able to access some websites in the USA that I no longer can access when I'm in Japan. And it also allows me to use my Netflix and my American Amazon Prime to be able to watch the American TV shows and movies. Because each country has its own TV shows and movies only available in that country. ExpressVPN is also rated the number one VPN by CNET and TechRadar. I recommend ExpressVPN for those who want to protect themselves from spies and hackers. Even your own ISP can see everything you do and sell your info. So it's good to have a service like ExpressVPN, which can mask your unique IP address and allow you to safely serve encrypted. If you'd like more information or to try ExpressVPN out, just click the link below. And when you use my link, you will get your first three months free. Thank you. Neville says, Recently, I asked a very successful businessman his formula for success. He laughed and was a little embarrassed. Then he replied, I guess it's just because I can't conceive of failure. It's nothing that I think about much. It's more a feeling that I have. His statement coincided completely with my own beliefs and experiments. We can think about something forever and never see it in our world. But once, let us feel its reality and we are bound to encounter it. The more intensely we feel, the sooner we will encounter it. We all regard feelings far too much as effects, and not sufficiently as causes of the events of the day. Feelings is not only the result of our conditions of life, it is also the creator of those conditions. We say we are happy because we are well, not realizing that the process will work equally well in the reverse direction. We are well because we are happy. We are all far too undisciplined in our feelings. To be joyful for another is to bless ourselves as well as him. To be angry with another is to punish ourselves for his fault. So what Neville is saying here, in this particular example, this successful man unintentionally had success. Still, he used the same formula for success. Feeling. Feeling is the secret. So although people may think that things happen, and that's why we feel the way we do, good or bad, what Neville is teaching is a whole new way of thinking. Catch the feeling of your wish fulfilled before it's in your reality. And as you do this, and that feeling becomes familiar, home, it will manifest. But for success, we must learn to discipline our feelings. And he also warns you here to realize our connection with all, and all that we feel, even if it may seem justified by something on the outside, it comes back to us. So instead of envying another, you can learn to be thankful that now you see something that you can manifest in your own life. And it's natural that sometimes you might get angry, but instead, what do you want instead? What would it feel like if it was so? So we must become disciplined with our feelings to revolutionize our life, to be masters of our fate and live the lives we want. Neville says, If we did nothing but imagine and feel the lovely, the world's reform would at once be accomplished. He goes on to say, Only imagination and feeling can restore the Eden from which experience has driven us. Where knowledge ends, imagination begins. Let us measure men not by the height of their cities, but by the magnificence of their imaginations and feelings. Let us turn our thought up to heaven and mix our imagination with the angels. So Neville teaches you here the importance to be lovely, to always see the good, and to see that as the measure of true greatness in yourself and in anyone. So in closing, Neville is teaching us to learn to tune in with our tuners, to learn to catch the feeling. When you think of happy memories, it has a certain feeling. And with practice in your imagination, you can tune in and create your own memories of all your wishes fulfilled. So practice each day, tuning into the feeling of health, wealth, happiness, whatever you desire. Finally, Neville says, make results or accomplishments the crucial test of true imagination. As you observe these results, you will determine to fill your images with love and to walk in a high and noble mood. So as you do this and approves itself, even more so, you will be guardian protector of your thoughts and feelings. What is it that you wish to create? And now, let us go into the silence.
Good.